Hey guys, it's me, Julie. I'm at the end of the video. I'm coming back to tell you something. I totally forgot to say that tomorrow is our first Giving Friday and all of the jewelry proceeds minus PayPal fees and the original shipping charges to Michelle are going to go to the gray-faced babies at Whispering Willow Sanctuary. It's a dog sanctuary for elderly senior dogs to live out the rest of their lives. So I'm getting a little sneak peek of what's coming, but this was very important. So be there or be square. Woo. Hey guys, it's me, Julie, back with another video. It is Throwback Thursday. Woo. We're gonna finish up on the um, vintage sterling. I think I have one piece that's not sterling and then, yeah, we're gonna do that. We'll see what happens. <laughs> Uh, if you'd like to buy anything, pause the video here. It will tell you exactly what you need to do. Um, and guys, just want to let you know, if um, you made a payment and I didn't get it before Tuesday, uh, before I went to the post office Tuesday morning, um, then I will ship your items out as fast as I can after that. They may end up going on Monday with the new purchases. But I try to do my best to go again, but it doesn't always work out that way. Okay. Um, let's see. Okay, first things first. I owe you a winner for a giveaway, and I haven't picked what I'm going to give away yet. Um, actually, I'm going to give this away. Doo -doo. Remember this from the last video? I'm going to give this away. This is a nice set. It's new on the card. That way someone could gift it, resell it, keep it, whatever they want to do. So, you have if you were still watching on my extremely long video and you put still watching in the comments i did a random uh comment generator and gail a this one's for you my darling and gail i have your info and i will make sure that goes to you thank you so much thank you for still watching on that craziness okay just setting that to the side all right let's start with a bang why not right Okay, I've had this for a long time. <laughs> um, it is vintage Mexico silver. I haven't looked at it in a long time, if I'm honest. So let's see if I think anything new. <laughs> um, I believe, I'm not totally sure, guys, what that is, to tell you the honest truth. Let's hit it with a gem tester. I always thought before it was malachite, but now I'm looking at it and... Mm, it's reading on the hold on let me wait till it goes back down it's reading as glass you guys but I know other things read as glass besides glass so here it is it's absolutely beautiful how they've made this there's a pair of screw back earrings and a gorgeous bracelet and it is nine two five and it's marked Mexico right there. And let me just peek at that. I think that is a Taxco mark, if I remember correctly. I can't get to zoom in. No, it might say HO. It's very, very worn, you guys. It might say HO and Mexico and Mexico which is made in Mexico. Okay, anyway, um, here's how it goes together. It's got a hook, kind of a hook and eye clasp, like so. Yeah, it goes in there. Sorry, it looks like it didn't have an opening for a second there. So, okay, here you go. Get the corner in, put it in. Okay, then it won't fall out, right? All on its own, that's a good plan. All right, let's see. It is six and three quarter inches long. And you get the earrings and the bracelet. And this is going to be $80. 80. 80. Eight okay. That was our start with a bang. But everything is pretty amazing in here. So <laughs> it'll be like bang, 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 bang. Bang, bang. <laughs> you get the idea. I almost did it again. I'm like, don't do it. Don't do it, Julie. Another bang would be too much. <laughs> Okay, you guys, um, this one has a little boo-boo right here. I just want to show it to you. Um, that will be reflected in the price, but it is absolutely beautiful. Isn't that so nice? It's a toggle bracelet um, with different gemstones. It does have a leaf at the end. I'm sorry, a feather at the end. And it says Navajo. And... Let me see what the rest says. Hold on. Oh, I might know. Look at your bag, Julie. <laughs> 
Navajo 925. And, oh, Navajo Sterling, that probably says. And then 925. Let me look. Let me peek. Yep, Navajo Sterling. And then I think it's just a design above the Sterling right here. Okay, let's get a length. Here we go. All right, it is um, like, oh wait, we did this the other day. It's coming in at a six and a quarter, but I bet this measures a six, remember? Julie, remember we learned, we learned this. We learned it together. Oh, well, <laughs> there it is, you guys. <laughs> I guess it's not the case for all toggles. All right, here we go. Gorgeous, um, does have that one little boo-boo. Be aware of that. I'm gonna ask 20, $20, okay? 20, okay. Uh, all right, next piece. We have a brooch. It's a cool, like, modernist-looking brooch. Let's see if that's a piece of onyx. It is not, you guys, so that might be a piece of enamel. Oh, actually, it's kind of reading as glass, so I'm thinking that's a piece of glass. Okay, there's the brooch. There's the Mexico mark, and it is Taxco, you guys. Mexico 95, there's a T. Um, TA11, maybe? Okay. This is absolutely beautiful. I am going to ask $25. $25 on that one. I didn't give myself pricing today. <laughs> That's okay. I fly off the seat of my pants all the time. I fly by the seat of my pants. <laughs> I fly off the seat of my pants too, you guys. Okay, this is another modernist piece. It is beautiful. I like this piece a lot. Um, it's also marked Mexico right there and 925 let's see what if this might read as onyx let's see whoop hold on i'm sorry my phone's ringing as soon as i turn the video on hub starts uh messaging okay hold on my my gem tester is acting weird i'm really i think i'm going to use my uh insurance and get a new one Okay, that's not reading. Let's ask, I'm gonna ask 20 for this one. $20. I have all this stuff in bags. Let me just dump this out of the bag that the bags are in. You know, I'm a bag lady. All these bags. <laughs> okay, what have we got? All right, here we go. I believe this is Malachite. A sterling ring. It's very, very pretty. This is a size. It's a size six and a quarter. Okay. Gorgeous. I am going to ask 18. $18 on that one, you guys. Okay. We have sterling bangles coming. You ready? Sterling bangles galore. This is a hammered sterling. It says sterling, so it is probably vintage beautiful. It's measuring an eight and a quarter. This one's really pretty. Can I get it over? Oh my gosh, you guys. Yikes. Okay. Eight and a quarter on this one. And I'm going to ask 16, $16 on that one. Oh, the tape is pulling up that I have, um, my tape measure taped down with. <laughs> Can I say tape again? And it is tickling my arm so bad not tickling it kind of hurts actually <laughs> tickling should be fun right did you just see what i paid for that <laughs> some of the stuff i overpaid for if i'm honest but because i had to buy it piece by piece but i wanted to get it for you so it's okay uh that says sterling this is a very pretty one uh let's see it's just between a seven and three quarter and an eight and i'll ask 16 for this one too 16. Let's finish with the bangles. Why not, right? Okay, we have another hammered finish. It says sterling right there. This one's a little bit thicker than the other one. Uh, this one's measuring in an eight and a quarter. 
Well, I didn't change the price on the last one and it was bigger than the first one. And now this one's bigger than the first one, but they're like the same thing. So I should technically make this one more money because it weighs more, but I was like enjoying that type A same price thing. 16, 16, I'm okay with it. 16. Okay, let's get the last bangle and then I have a hinge bangle. This one. It's a little bit thinner hammered bangle. Um, is it the same as the first? Yes, these would be gorgeous together, just so you know. Gorgeous. Uh, it says sterling. I thought I saw it. Yep, right there. Uh, is it wonky? Maybe a teeny bit wonky, not bad. It's coming in at an eight and a, between an eight and a quarter and an eight and a half. 16. If you buy both of these, I will do both for 25. Yes, both for 25, okay? If you buy both of the little ones that go together. All right, what have we got? Okay, we have a hinged bangle. <laughs> Am I gonna open it? Yep, safety clasp. This is very pretty. Um, etched, hold on. Okay, it's fine. It just takes a teeny bit of pressure. Uh, let's see if it's marked. Dun, dun. Okay, I don't see anything there. Uh, there might be a mark inside where we were just looking. No, I don't see one. It's gorgeous though. Very, very pretty. I like the design. The etch design. That's cool. I like that for me. I like that it's not like florally. Uh, seven and a quarter on this one, you guys. And I will do this one for $18. $18. Okay. Have a ring. This is a fun ring. Okay. Come on, girl. There we go. <laughs> Look at that so cool and they move wherever you want them like if you're like hmm, I would like some balls over there and balls over there and balls there <laughs> you could wear it however you want like so it's a little small for me I like all the balls together at the front <laughs> come on spin okay so it's held together with that little guy it's really really pretty nice I really like this okay this one is going to be $20 $20. Okay, got another ring for you. I'm just kind of going with what ended up in the bag, you guys, so it's going to be all mixed. This is a cool starling ring, too. Oh, did I tell you the size? <laughs> Julie, this ring, the last one, is, I would call that a seven and a, seven and a half. I, I think it would be safest to call that a seven and a half, maybe slightly bigger. And this one here is coming in at a seven. Hold on. Yeah, a seven. Yeah, seven. Very, very pretty. I am going to ask 16 for this one. 16. Another ring. Shocking, right, guys? <laughs> Just kidding. Okay, here we go. Let's see what we've got. Ooh, I like that. Very pretty. So one of you taught me that lapis reads on the glass line. Let's see. I think that probably is a lapis. Sure is, sure is. Um, it's not super shiny, just so you know, so it's not highly polished. Is there a marking in there? Yes, that probably says 925. Um, I'm going to ask, 16, 16 on this one, and it is a size, I almost forgot, seven and three quarter, where you like, size it, size it, lady. <laughs> okay, another ring, I have two, this ring and one more in this bag, sorry you guys, lots of rings. I know you love rings anyway though. Look at that, it's a rainbow ring, I really like that. I'm trying to be a midi. <laughs> there you go, that's cute, I like it. Uh, is it marked? Yes, it is. Right there. Let's see what that says. It says... 
Thailand, you guys, Thailand. It's a smaller size. It's coming in at a four and a quarter, four and a quarter. All right, let's see what these little stones are. Garnet, I think we can kind of decide, right? Garnet, citrine, uh-huh. What do you think? Green, <laughs> Pardo. I fell off, but it was going there. Amethyst, yeah. And okay, let's do the blue. Let it go back. What is wrong with this thing? You guys, this thing's making me mad. All right, hold on, it just went down. It's reading on the Jadeite Spinel line, the blue. All right, there it is. This one is going to be 14. <laughs> 14. Wow, guys, that was tough. That, that was a tough one. Tough one. What was going through your head, Julie? Small size. It's small size. But this is what you pay. So you got to make some money. So what should I charge? Ah, I don't know. Everybody's waiting. Ah, pressure. That's what was going through my head. <laughs> okay, we have this gorgeous, like, Celtic-ish braid. That's really cool. Look at it. It's like pieces of braid. And then it starts over. I like that a lot. All right, let's see. Uh, ooh, hello. And I don't see any markings. Let's get a size. It is an eight, you guys. It is a size eight. Oh, look, I can actually be a model. <laughs> All right, this one's going to be 15, $15. I was faster on that one. All right, you guys, this piece is so cool. I'm hoping you guys like it as much as I do because I think it is so neat. I'm building the suspense. Are you excited? Are you waiting? Are you like, show it, show it. Okay, look, it's a papoose. Isn't it fantastic? I'm not sure what the baby's made out of. Possibly bone. I'm not positive on that. Let's see if it does anything on the gem tester. Maybe it will give us a hint. Oh, interesting. Okay, so let me move it over here. Well, I still have it on there. Can you guys see? Okay, so that's where the baby's reading. <laughs> and it is in its papoose. And it is a brooch and a, um, oh, look at the D. That means that it is probably native and I didn't look it up. Please hold. Hey you guys, so um, I went to this site that I love. It is called Indian Native American Jewelry Artists, okay? Um, Hallmarks, so you pick your letter. We're looking at these. These two look the most promising to me. Probably mostly this one. Um, then I also did a Google reverse image search. I couldn't come up with this. Um, I feel like I did a while back come up with this, but I guess not. So I'm going to do a little research on this on my own time and I will bring it back to you at the beginning of the sale tomorrow. I'm just looking. Sterling is kind of italic, isn't it? Kind of. So there's another person over here, but that Sterling is not italic. That's like, woo, that's like a wave. Okay. Anyway, I will do a little research on this on my own and get back to you and you know the price will be good anyway. But I'm just gonna check that out just in case. Um, Cause in this jewelry lot, this is um, the vintage jewelry collection that I bought piece by piece. There it has been a lot of native pieces. So I wanna start there. And I did look a little further after I couldn't get it to come up. I told you on the reverse, reverse image search so then I started looking those two um, artists up on eBay that their D look the same. And then I realized this was a really boring video because I had been blathering on and doing research. So I cut it all out. <laughs> all right, this is Mark 925. It is absolutely fantastic. It is a cat. I, I, I think this is so cool. I love anything that's different, right, you guys? Like, I haven't seen this before. You know what I mean? That's so cool to me. So there's where it's measuring. I'm going to let you guys look. 
Um, definitely could probably do a little bit of bending there to make it fit. And I am going to ask, hmm, I'm gonna ask 40 for this, $40. 40. Okay, we've got another little bracelet. There it is. I would guess that is some gorgeous amethyst. I love all the lines and stuff in it, the veins. Yep, it's amethyst, you guys. And, hmm, JLN. You know what, I'm gonna look this one up for us too. I apologize, you guys. I thought I had taken care of this. <laughs> I must have missed a bag. My bad. Okay, we have a big hammered cuff. This is cool. I love how linear the hammer marks are. Not so random, that's really cool. And it probably says 925 right there. And that's where it's coming in, about eight and a half. And this one is going to be 25, 25. Okay, there we go. All right, this one is so cute, guys. I was excited to get this one. Wait, mm -hmm. look, aw, a strawberry sterling cough, isn't it cute? And it looks to be marked sterling right there. Let's get a read on this cuff. Give it a little press when you're doing a cuff this style. I would say that comes in at a six and three quarter, you guys. And the opening is an inch and a quarter. And I'm gonna ask 30 for this one, $30. $30. Okay, we're next. All right, this one, it's not iffy, but I just want you guys to see a couple things about it. So this, it doesn't, it slides on this fine. It just takes a second, a lot of time. See how it goes? All right, so there's a little bit of looseness. It is made on a chain, which is cool. It is marked right there. And I worked on this mark, oh yeah, yeah, you guys. So what I learned is before, I have a whole note, you guys. Oh, does that have a note? No, okay. So, <clears throat> so the eagle marks, can you guys see that that's an eagle? Let me get the lens. The eagle marks were used in Mexico. This is Mexico silver. Um, they were used uh, from the 1920s to the 19, that's my ring. 1940s and you can see there's a, a number in the center come on why am I so bad at this you guys okay that's gonna be good enough there's a number five in this one okay so they're used in the 1920s to the 1940s okay so the five in the center were supposed to um, tell you the silver manufacturing company they're all numbered uh, so these were supposed to be a sign of really good silver. That's what they were started doing in Mexico, but then people started faking them. So they stopped it and started um, using the markings that we've talked about with Taxco. Um, and this one is most likely from 1948, from what I have found. Um, there is a problem here. It's not perfect, but it's pretty close. Did I even say the length out loud? <laughs> I measured it and now I literally don't know if I told you. Uh, it's a 14 and a half inch total length, you guys. So I'm gonna ask 30 for this one, okay? $30. So that one had a little history lesson for you guys. Guess what I've been doing? Haha. -ha. So I was going through this jewelry wallet and there's a lot of scrimshaw in it. So I've been setting it aside and I know I have a bunch already set aside that you guys didn't buy. Um, and I wanna put it all out in front of us like I did with the bone and the ivory I was trying to buy, not the ivory, I didn't want it. Um, this is glass, you guys. It's really cool. It's like a root beer color with a swirl. This is a really cool pendant. I like it a lot. Um, Anyway, uh, I'll check this for sterling, but I'm probably only going to check this top part. I'm not sure if this is, 
looks kind of like a crown, doesn't it? I really like this. Okay, this is going to be $12, $12. So remember I told you with the bone and the ivory all out in front of me, I really could tell the differences. So I thought we could kind of do like when I did amber and had all those facts and um, stuff, I thought we could do that with Scrimshaw and really take a look at it. Isn't those cool, guys? This reminds me of like Tibetan, like a Tibetan or India piece. Very, very cool. Let's see if this comes up as anything. It's reading as glass, you guys. It's very, very cool. Um, this would probably need a bail, unless you can get a chain through it and wear it this way. You could obviously do that too. Uh, this is going to be 10, $10. $10. Okay, I have a ring. Oh no, I dropped something, you guys. Oh, yeah, so I took the kids to the sauna. No, just kidding, it wasn't the sauna, but it should be called that. <laughs> to the trampoline park. Holy guacamole. It was a sauna, you guys. Oh my goodness. It was rough. It was so sweaty hot in there and sweaty kids running around everywhere, but it was really fun. <laughs> the kids had a really good time. Okay, let's see. That is Onyx, you guys, and it is so cool. And look, it has a seatbelt. <laughs> guys, it has a seatbelt. Oh my gosh. <laughs> you know me in the seatbelts. Okay, it's a six and a half. This one's going to be 20, guys. $20. Okay. Oh boy, I'm so sorry. Okay, this is not Sterling. This also has like a Tibetan-ish feel to me, I think. Isn't it cool? Has two little gemstones. We're gonna test those. It is a cool little pendant. I would think it's brass. It's gorgeous. Let's see what the bail looks like. Okay, it's just a bunch of jump rings, like a chain, you guys, so you know what you're getting. Let's see. Hmm. The orange is reading as glass. Oh boy. Hold on. Yeah, I gotta, I gotta, I gotta swap this out. It's having a hard time, you guys. Oh boy. It's still reading on the glass line. Eek. Straight up and down. Okay, I fell again. I'm gonna sell those like they're glass. <laughs> and I'm gonna ask just $8. $8 is pretty fantastic. Okay. Gem tester is not my friend today. Let's see what this is. This is really cool, you guys. Not 925 again. Isn't this cool? This frame of this uh, early person. <laughs> Sorry, you guys, I don't know who it is. I think it's really cool. And if it doesn't sell, I've been thinking about making a charm necklace with all these charms on it forever. I probably will put it on there. Okay, $8. <laughs> Oops. <laughs> How about like that? <laughs> $8. All right, here we go. This, ooh, look, a Buddha. Very, very cute with a little red stone. Would need a bail. I do not think this is sterling. I'm gonna sell it like it's not. It's very, very cute. I'm gonna ask $8 for this one too. Okay, let's see. Got a ring for you. Okay, this one is sterling. It is marked with a W with a little C on the point, an M with a little O on the point. Okay, and that stands for Wheeler of Lemon, L-E-M-M-O-N. It is marked in there. You can see that little mark that I just described and showed you. Um, it is very, very pretty. Isn't that nice? I think it's so nice. Ooh, that one's pretty. Okay, um, it is a size uh, nine, size nine, and this one's gonna be 30, $30. $30. Okay, so we have another cutie little thing I think is really cool. No, this is the one the reverse image search gave me stuff for. 
This one is not sterling, you guys. It's a little um, Siam figure pendant. It would also need a bail. Let me show you when it hangs, the earrings are there. Very cool. Um, this one is going to be 12, $12. Okay. I have an alpaca ring for you. I have no idea, you guys, how long my first video was because this is now in two parts. Ay, ay. Oh, well. All right, we have an alpaca ring. Isn't that cool? With some abalone in there. It is a bypass ring, so you probably have some room to groove. It's an eight and a quarter right now. And 15, just 15 on that one. Okay. Remember, alpaca is not sterling. It's a different alloy of metals, meaning mixture of metals. And, um, but you can shine it like it's sterling. So I have this left, but I have no idea how long it's been. Are you yelling, do it, do it? I hope you are. <laughs> I feel like I can hear that. <laughs> okay, here we go. So this is marked with a DD. Okay, these are inlay earrings. I'll see if I can show you. Yep, right there. Okay, using that same website. This comes up to Danny and Dorothy Clark. Okay, DD. And I did not write down if they what if they were Navajo or Zuni or whatever. I forgot to do that. I apologize. Look them up if you'd like to. They might even be Anglo. There are Anglo designers on that site and they tell you that they're Anglo. Anglo means not native. Okay? Isn't that cool? They're slightly different and I love it. Okay, so these are going to be $35, $35. Okay, okay, here's the Calvin Begay, or Begay, I'm not sure how to pronounce that, B-E-G-A-Y. There it is, Sterling Calvin Begay, or Begay. These are gorgeous, look at them. Aren't they stunning? Oh, so, so beautiful. Oh, gosh, Calvin is Navajo, and this is going to be $40 for these, $40. <clears throat> and I gave you discounted prices from what they're selling for, okay? Just so you know. Okay, this is probably my favorite piece today. I, I'm, I just think this is so pretty. Are you ready? Look at it. Can, are you getting the full effect? You're not. There's flash in there, you guys. Like, this is probably maybe Labradorite in the middle there. Ay, ay, I love this one. This is by Duran Gasper, G-A-S-P-E-R. He's a, I'm assuming a he, a Zuni um, artist. Oh boy, there's the signature. I'll pause again if they don't stop. Um, it is absolutely beautiful. And this piece is going to be 60, $60, you guys. <clears throat> <clears throat> Excuse me. I'm losing my voice. I'm losing my voice. Okay, I don't, I'm not sure about that. Oh boy. I'll hey be guys, it's Julie again. The good thing that came out of the dogs barking is that I know how long we've been on today. I just pulled out a piece to show you and it's broken and I'm so aggravated. It's a sterling piece by Coro. I'll show it to you. It doesn't clasp. Isn't that annoying? <sighs> so aggravating. Okay, anyway, um, so Coro and the other manufacturers of costume jewelry, a lot of them started to make sterling products during the war because the piece, the metals that they were using were needed originally, were needed for the war effort. So interesting little fun fact. So that's when the sterling came out from a lot of those guys. This is a James Avery piece, you guys. Isn't it beautiful? There is the little candelabra. Okay. And this one is going to be 40 $40. Okay. Let's see. All right, here we go. We have a little cutie spoon. It is a brooch. It is marked Lone, L-O-N-E, Sterling. Okay? And this one is going... Oh, and it's also marked Lunt. That's right, L-U-N-T. This one's going to be $10. Oh, that's a bargain. That was nice of me. <laughs> okay, you guys, this piece. Oh, hmm. 
All right, so this one is marked toll. Now, there's families in my town that are tolls that have been around a long time, and that's how they pronounce that. I'm not sure if there are other pronunciations. Toll Sterling, 1973, I believe. I guess that could be an eight. This chain is not Sterling, okay? So somebody married these together, but this is fantastic. <laughs> Isn't it so cool? Oh my gosh, it's so good. Okay, it's three inches by two and a quarter inches, and this one is going to be $40. $40, the chain's free. Have fun with it. Maybe I should just take it off the chain. Eh, whatever. Full extender, it's an eight inch drop if you're interested. Okay, $40 on that one. Okay, we have some cool earrings. I hope you guys like these. Look at them. Aren't they cool? Now these are not your typical like fishbone earrings that are a little bit thin and stuff. These have some weight. These are have some thickness, they have some weight. These are nicely made. They're a longer piece. They measure, when they're in your ear, they're gonna measure three inches down. These are big boys. These are gonna be 25, $25, okay? Okay. All right, so we've had a Courtney piece before. Oh shoot, I don't think I looked up her last name and I cannot think of it now. Ay ay. All right, Courtney, yeah. <laughs> Guys, I can't remember her last name. Oh my gosh. All right, whatever. Courtney Sterling. Her pieces go for a lot of money, you guys. Um, this is her dragonfly piece. I could not figure out if this was bent or if that's how she originally intended it. I'm going to leave it alone. This is sterling and brass. It is absolutely beautiful. It's huge. Um, it is four inches by three inches. It's a big one. Um, gorgeous. Courtney, I wanna say Peterson. Courtney Peterson. I don't know, guys. That might be it. Courtney Peterson. I don't know. Okay, it's going to be $70, and that is a discount from eBay, uh, from reselling prices, from full reselling prices. All right, we have an abalone bracelet. Here we go. Gorgeous little abalone. It is a hook clasp, and it is marked here. Let me show you. That's hard to see. Mexico MPB okay Mexico MPB and this has a length of I'm gonna go say six and a quarter inches you guys six and a quarter inches it is absolutely beautiful so so pretty this one's going to be 30 you guys $30 on this one I'm sorry that I didn't turn my ringer off I just realized that you guys are hearing that oh my goodness Julie Hi, yay, yay, yay. Okay, here you go. We have a little pansy. Isn't it cute? It's marked Orb, O R B. I couldn't find anything about that, you guys. If anybody knows, I'd love to hear. This one's going to be $25. $25. It's very pretty. All right, let's see what this is. All right, we have a little wheelbarrow. Isn't this the cutest? Okay, so this one is marked Sterling GFMW 1992. That stands for Great Falls. This is a Great Falls piece, Great Falls Sterling. Um, I'm just grabbing my bag so I can see my notes. And it's one, in, my mom does not do garage doors. So in garage doors, and I think all of construction you do with height. She's going opposite, it's messing me up. <laughs> but I only learned that when I started doing doors. So I don't blame you, mom. Okay, so it's two by one. <laughs> um, and I did look this up. I couldn't find this exact one, but there was another one that with like a little gardening motif that I kind of based my price on. This one's gonna be 25, 25. Okay, this is so cool, you guys. Wait till you see it. Look at it. Isn't it cool and abstract and amazing? Hi, yay, yay. Okay, it's marked Marta, M-A-R-T-A, and this is Marta Howell, H-O-W-E-L, okay? E-L-L, -L, I mean. 
Um, it is a pendant and it is a brooch. And let's see, can you work for me, please? Oh, please work. Guys, I really think this is smoky quartz also. It's going up to the beginning of jadeite. Let's see. And that is carved onyx, it looks like. And this is probably quartz also. Going up to the beginning of the jadeite line almost. Okay. All right. So we have quartz, smoky quartz, carved onyx. It is beautiful. This is tall. It is three and a quarter inches tall. It's fantastic. I've never seen anything like it. And like I said, I love that. $50. $50. Oh, Hubs just texted. He's not on a job because it's super hot. Um, but he is in the yard because his brake pad broke or something on the truck. And the mechanic can't get it in. He's busy. So, Jeff is a mechanic. <laughs> Um, this is marked SGB, I, I don't know, it's marked a lot of stuff, do you guys see it? <laughs> it's okay, this is going to be 15, it's a beautiful little stingray, probably with faux abalone, I don't think that's real, okay, 15 you guys on the stingray. Just a couple more pieces, and I don't think we're going to go over by that bad. Okay, here we go. This is another Courtney. It is Courtney Peterson. Look. Huh. Courtney Peterson, gorgeous cuff bracelet. There's her signature that she scratches in there. And sterling. So she goes SS and B, so sterling and brass, I would assume. Oh, and look, this one has Courtney and block letters also. Okay, let's get a measurement. Mm, I would say six and a half on this, you guys, but it is a cuff and probably has a little room. The opening is one inch, and this is going to be 60, $60. Okay, and yes, I did pay 50. <laughs> because I saw that you saw it, and that's okay, I don't care. I told you I paid up for a lot of this stuff to bring it to you. I like buying the older collections, and I'm not afraid to pay for them if they're really good. <laughs> All right, here we go. This guy is Mark Sterling. It is beautiful. has a Thunderbird and some other um, native imagery. Sterling's written out. Let's see if this might be Onyx glass you guys that's reading is glass it's an inch and three quarter by an inch and three quarter oh yeah you can see that's not onyx oh that's cool that's really cool all right reading is glass this one is going to be 22 22 dollars uh oh sorry i was bringing another bag with me okay this one is fantastic i i enjoy this piece a lot look at it and you have to like, guys, this is solid. Like I'm gonna let it drop. <laughs> it's heavy. There's a lot of sterling here, it's crazy. Okay, so here's the piece. It is a pendant and a brooch. And I want to show you the mark if I can. Actually, you know what, I drew it. Let me show it to you. It's right here, okay? So it's kind of like an abstract F, okay? So, the only thing that this is missing, some of the ones shown online have an extra bail on it, some don't, okay? So, this is by Carol Felly, F-E-L-L-E-Y, that's her mark. Um, this is, what does that say, O-Z, I don't know what that means, Julie. She is Anglo, um, so this is two and a quarter tall, inch and three, inch and three quarter wide. This is going to be a hundred dollars, you guys, hundred dollars. I think the cheapest one I saw was 130. Okay. And they went up, mm, memory, uh, they went up to 550 maybe. I can't remember. It's a beautiful piece. It's beautiful. Oh, I might change my mind about my favorite piece or I might have a tie. I, I don't know. <laughs> We have a gorgeous filigree butterfly. 
It is marked Mexico. It says made in Mexico. Inch and three quarter by an inch and a half. This one is going to be 22, $22. All right, we're in the home stretch, you guys. We're in the home stretch. All right, we have the cutest little lantern pendant. Oh my gosh, wait till you guys see this. I'll t I didn't test this one, I'll test it before it goes out because I'm a little, it looks like it could not be sterling, but it is marked. It's marked sterling and an I and a C. Couldn't figure that out. But look, it has a little candle in there. So, so cute. It's a pendant or a charm, it's a bigger charm. Um, let's see, this one is going to be $18, $18. Okay, wait till you see this bathing beauty. Isn't she cool? Look at the little mermaid. Pendant, I was almost gonna say pendant and brooch. I thought it was. Pendant, gorgeous little mermaid, not the little mermaid. Jadeite, you guys. Jadeite, reading on the Jadeite line. This one is going to be, this one has some weight to it. This one's going to be $25, you guys. $25. Alrighty. Three, four more pieces. Okay. We have this cute little, look at it, a little gardening charm bracelet, you guys. Isn't it so cute? I think it's so sweet. Um, and that, Oh, I'm holding it by the wrong thing. <laughs> I was going to say, and that's an extender. <laughs> um, there you go. Lobster claw clasp. This one is coming in at six and a half inches, you guys. If you have a smaller wrist, you definitely could make it into an extender. <laughs> it's very, very cute. I didn't see a marking on this one, I don't think. Let me see. No, I didn't see a marking on this one. And I forgot to check. The length is on there. Julie. I didn't have to measure it, but that's okay. I think, oh, there you go. There's your marking. Okay, this one is going to be $25. $25. Alrighty. Actually, just two more pieces, you guys. There's one I'm not sure of. I'm gonna, I'm gonna look at a little further. Okay, so this beautiful um, enamel butterfly is marked Norway Sterling. Okay, isn't this cool? There's the scales as a mark, the 925S, and the DA. And I'm going to ask 40 for this piece, $40. And that might be a mistake because I just realized I didn't look that up. But that's okay. I'm okay with that. I'm okay. All right, here we go. This is my other favorite piece. I love it, you guys. Have you ever seen one like this? I haven't. This is a honka honka. <laughs> it's a pendant and a brooch, and it is nine, marked 925. It is beautiful, I think. Uh, it's an inch and three quarter by inch and three quarter, and I am going to ask eek 30. $30 for this one, $30. Okay. So, do you guys want to hang out with me while I test just two things? I pulled these off to the side because I didn't have a chance to test everything. If I had stopped and tested everything first, then my video probably wouldn't have uploaded in time. So, I'm going to test everything after the video. If anything's not sterling, I'll let you know. But these two scared me a little bit. This one I pulled. I'll show you them both, and you can see how they scratch. And then this one. So I didn't want to show them to you and make a big mistake. And then, because I would like to only show you sterling if I'm saying it's sterling, right? And most of the time, I've only had one time where there's a problem and I just let the person know. Okay. Here we go. There they are, you guys. Oh, let's see. Let's see what happens. Oh, I was worried for no reason. <laughs> All right, let's look at him. Okay, so we have a sterling elephant brooch. He's awful cute. Not signed. Uh, he's an inch and three quarter by an inch and a half. And I am going to ask 25 for him. 25. Oops. So 25 for that boy. And then we have... 
the Noah's Ark bracelet. Oh my gosh, it's so cute, isn't it? It has a, um, what's that guys? Lobster claw clasp. It is marked 925 on the clasp, but I was nervous this clasp was replaced. So clasp, I wasn't sure, so I didn't want to trust it. Um, it is marked 925 NF. If I remember correctly, NF is a big manufacturing company that makes a lot of jewelry. Okay, really cool. Ooh, did you guys see the cool hinge between the ark and the first animals next to the ark? I'll show you. It's measuring a seven, you guys. Look at these cool hinges. <laughs> I really like that. Okay, so this guy is going to be 25. 25, I'm glad it's sterling, that's so good. 